what's up guys this is swiss play now here and we're gonna be doing a reaction video hello all right so we're gonna be doing a reaction video and this time we're gonna be covering actual of creation again and we're gonna be looking at the latest uh videos on actual of creation uh so I'm just gonna pick some random stuff here. Um, also with mobile, uh, mobile legend, mobile legend, uh, the company owner is getting sued. Uh, the owner of the game is getting sued because they copied uh, uh, League of Legends design, and I think. Uh, Mobile Legend is gonna lose this court case because um, there are many uh, evidence of uh, the game design being uh, traceable uh, back to uh, League of Legend. So there's definitely, I think, the the chance of uh, Mobile Legend losing this is gonna is gonna be super high. All right, so let's uh, watch the no system because that was, that was one of the uh, thing I talked about when I was explaining how uh, actually of creation is gonna fail. So let's talk about let's 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 watch somebody else talk about it. The ashes of creation community scares me, given the literal thousands of ashes specific content creators. So, this this guy starts off by explaining that he's afraid to even make this video because the Ashes of Creation community is so high on copium that they will immediately start shutting him down just for making this video, and he knows that. And that's literally the first thing he started with, like 0.07 seconds. And that's what most people are afraid of, and they are just watching. Um, as for me, I I don't have content right now, so I'm just I'm just making this video because I just want to make some random stuff, and there's nothing really to nothing more uh, interesting to talk about than the uh, the massive scam that everybody is is head over heel over. Um, have insane uh, copium right now for so here we are their aggressive fan base and the rose colored glasses that many of them wear I'm afraid to say anything critical about this upcoming MMORPG project I don't know if it's the massive amounts what is he showing there From Ashia of Creation Death Update. Okay. I don't know if it's the massive amounts of copium leaking from the official forums and Wikipedia, or just a very vocal minority. It's hard to find any info about the game, its systems, that are not tainted with the this will be the next big thing or this will be the Exactly. This is uh what this is the model of uh of selling dreams to um, random people who are not capable of thinking for themselves and they are uh, they high on copium people um, again copium is basically letting somebody else think for you and then whatever they, they regurgitate I mean whatever they give to you you regurgitate it and it becomes like your your final thoughts in a sense so anybody anybody can start up a, a, a company pretty much and sell this this model to you it's gonna be the next big thing anybody can do this and actually of creation is is really it's really uh, Pointing this term in the MMO genre because so many people are 
becoming too um uh how will you say they are becoming too egotistic and they are becoming too uh greedy or like uh i would say selfish uh because they don't know how much how difficult it is to maintain a game and build a game and they are not appreciating uh games like world of warcraft just because i mean for 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 world of warcraft being a game they are not appreciating that sense that overall sense of there being like mmos out there to play they are not appreciating it they are just hopping from one game to another and just uh playing it for a little bit and saying oh this is not this is not enough for me uh, because like i'm so special even though i don't know how to make a game or I don't know how networking work or how difficult it is. I'm so special that all of these games don't suit my taste. And eventually one game one day will suit my space. I'm, I'm looking for the next big thing. This is what Ashes of Creation is selling. And right now in the MMO community, like nobody want to settle down. Everybody want to get the next big thing. So as long as they can hold on to this. And have a little bit of assets like they used to sell along with this next big thing ideal they can always keep getting money from the idiots the egotistic people out there who wants more than what they have who are not appreciating the simple games that are coming out like new war for example new war is not a bad game um, it's the player themselves who actually damage the game it's the player themselves who sees this the uh, exploits and they actually go they follow through with the exploits and they damage the game okay it, it's not like anybody else who's damaging the game it's the player themselves who actually say oh i want to play a, an action combat game i want to play something new something innovative something with decent graphics I want to play something more worst western i don't want to play no asian asian uh spammy grindy mmo i want to play something more uh western and all that stuff like that and they always say it but then when they get an mmo for them to play and, and enjoy it they actually spend most of their time looking for shortcuts looking for exploits looking for one shot uh well one shot is is not bad but they are looking for like the easiest way that the com more convenient way that they can finish the content as fast as possible and then after they finish damaging the game overall design and they finish making the game as unappealing as possible to themselves they go around spreading the word telling everybody else that the game is bad and what they are looking for is the next big thing future of MMOs. So before I go too far into this video, I want everyone to know I am very hopeful for Ashes. It's in fact very high up on my list of future potential MMOs to play. I purchased the $500 Kickstarter package way back when. This guy is actually one of the guys who spent $500 without thinking and now he's actually starting to think. And these are the type of people you want to be watching because these people are ascending to a new level right of uh, awareness at first they just go in and mindlessly spend on a dream that is being sold to them and then after a little bit of time after the copium dies away a little bit they actually have time for them to think for them to use their own brain and start thinking for themselves and then you get videos like these where they are actually thinking about the, sy the system in the game and the problem that it could be, I mean, it could cause. So these are the type of people you want to be watching. Players will venture into a vast new world to explore and tame the wilderness. Ashes of Creation's foundation. Okay, vast new world, right? Um, do you do you guys remember when the Intrapis was saying that Ashes of Creation is going to be a single? a single open world where like millions of players will be together and now if you guys remember that what I, uh, 
the new system, right? That actually go against what is said in the past, as they will always keep doing um, and keep hiding it. I mean, not even hiding it. The copium guys will, will keep accepting it and uh, making it a new fact or whatsoever. Um, so, actual creation says that we're going to be a vast open world with like thousands of players playing in a, in a single world, right? Everything will be synced together and they, they change their mind because they, they didn't have the technology, they didn't have the, uh, the, this overall design capability to make that work. Right, you guys remember they said they will they will use cloud technology in the past. They was they were talking about how they were gonna use cloud technology, and they were gonna use Fortnite technology and all that stuff. I know some of you guys will remember it, but I remember um, everything because even though I'm not, I might not be the person releasing constant video about these uh, games and these MMOs and stuff, I do read about them. I do watch a lot of content about them and I do try to keep up with time uh, because I, I too want a game that I can play but my expectations are not absurd like these guys. I do remember the time where they said they were going to use cloud technology that will make them have millions of players in the same area in a single open world. And now what they are saying is that there are going to be different uh, servers and stuff node system means nearly the entirety of the world is built by player choice and actions. No two player experiences will feel the same. Every server ebbs and flows with its own unique story and character all based on player choice. The team at Intrepid Studios is aiming for 8 to 10,000 concurrent users per server. Obviously, the number of servers that exist in your region are going to be dependent on the population that's playing. At least in the alpha versions of the game, we saw servers broken down into regions, US East, US West, EU East, and EU West. Since the mid-2000s, we have seen many MMOs come and go, server populations rise and fall, new servers added and servers taken down. This is just a part of the MMO ecosystem when using a server infrastructure. And exactly. So, bad server, I like... Um actually creation is going to have a lot of bad servers there's going to be servers where the uh the rich guys will take over and once they take over they will have like all these flying mounts and everything they will have full monopoly over every single thing that you guys do so if you want to be like a like a commoner in a in an imaginative in an imaginary world where you're supposed to be free and stuff like that if you want to spend your the rest of your time in a game as a commoner who cannot advance in a higher level who cannot get uh prestigious content like uh flying mounts or like beautiful stuff if you want to play a game like that um actual creation is is exactly what you want to do what you want to play because that's how the game is going to be designed and that's how all of these servers are going to be and trust me like even in the real world right you can see politicians and the corruptions that people go through right once they have power that's exactly what's going to happen as soon as uh, this game releases people will use each other to form guilds and form big parties just to boost themselves up and as soon as they boost themselves up if the game even exists in the first place if if this game uh if they they are able to support this scam for long enough for the developer to actually feel guilty enough to make something and it, it actually exists you're gonna see uh the the corruption in people and how it's gonna damage the game while it may be frustrating to sit in a long queue time, I don't think that can even compare to the potential nuclear bomb that we may see when you start adding in Ash's node system. Separating the game's population has many pros and cons. For me, nothing felt more exciting than making a name for myself on a server. 
going out into the world and coming across people working on similar goals or helping others out just to meet them back again at the local tavern or court. All right, I might not be like the smartest person, but I'm gonna tell you guys how the no system is gonna get broken. How it's gonna get like, it's gonna get bugged out. So basically to get like a, so everybody is gonna start up easy, right? This, think of, think of this like a survivor combat, uh, like a su survivor uh, live show, right? When everybody go onto the island, like think of it as, as Fortnite, right? Everybody spawn onto this island or onto this uh, map and stuff. The smart people, what they would do is they would travel as far as possible from everybody else so that they can have enough time to gather enough resources and get super strong and then conquer the remaining people there. Right, so this is how the no system is going to get damaged, how it's going to get bogged out. So people will group up and they will travel far away from everybody else <laughs> because you guys know there is going to be PvP in the game. Right, so people will group up and travel far away and they will take their own time while other people are not able to like get closer to them. They will take their own time and level up their nodes and just become super strong. And then one day, why these guys who just settle closer to the uh, place that is spawned, while they are just doing their normal stuff, one day a bunch of guys will come from outside and just raid them pretty much and loot them and destroy everything. And then because those guys are successful and because like it's it is a no system and there's like you can have like a a puppet leader or whatever. This guy will put their own puppet leader in, in power. And the rest of the player will not be able to have fun because forever they will have to just spend the rest of their time playing like a minion in a sense. Supporting this this new random guy that came out of nowhere and took over their uh over their territory. I mean it it sounds cool and stuff, but trust me, in a game when people play a game they want to have fun and people like to be challenged and stuff people like to have pvp that is why pvp is instance in most mmos because you don't want to take that experience and bring it into the real into the real uh mmo world where people can actually worry about it after logging off and stuff like that so imagine logging into a game spending like your entire time there working for somebody else and then logging out and then repeating the same thing every single day that's gonna be super boring for people and people are gonna hate it so bad and that's why the node system is gonna crash and that's why servers will be super empty because once somebody fail in their server they're gonna try to find somewhere else where they can be successful and then they're gonna leave and their friends are gonna leave with them and everybody else is gonna leave because they are not familiar with the new people that are in there so trust me this game is gonna be so bad you i don't even know how to explain it quest hub even the most insidious players could gain recognition by killing others in pvp endlessly then the strong guild from the opposing faction would show up and defend those players this was social mmo gaming at its peak Gaining a level of familiarity or even infamy on your server was part of the initial old school draw that brought me into online gaming in the first place. This server architecture worked great in the early 2000s and 2010s, but started to fall off as more and more specialized and niche MMOs were released, feeding the MMO locust swarm and leaving servers dead and barren. Now imagine with me for a moment, Ashes of Creation is finally released Many years of hype all culminating in the release of one of the best MMOs gamers have seen in decades. Hundreds of thousands of players all joining up together to carve their names into this new world of Vera, specifically crafted to allow players to leave their mark on the world. It's just absolutely perfect in every way. You've grinded out hundreds, thousands of hours and have really left your mark. Now, for whatever reason, whether the game was too niche for some, you didn't plan your server choice out with PhD levels of precision, or simply the hype starts to wear off for some others for who knows why. 
you are left on a server with a dwindling population. The Ashes developers have stated that they intend to carefully manage server populations via the use of character creation throttles. Hey, you don't want to do this. Merge. This is, this you actually do in red. You don't want to do this. Merging server is like, it's so, it's like the worst case scenario. Like, they are saying that it will be able to merge servers. But they are not gonna be able to merge server. Like it's there are just so many things that will go wrong during this process that it will just push people away from the game. Like in dying games, this is what it do. Like when a game is actually it's actually dead, this is what it do. They merge the server after the game dies. Um, games like Alien, that's what it do. Alien is a good game. Uh, I really like the combat and stuff. But everybody left the game servers so fast. And they had no other choice than to do this. And this is exactly what's going to be happening with Ashes of Creation. Right after it get released. They're going to be doing this. And this is bas this basically means the, the game dies pretty much. It's not gonna die for like everybody, but I'm sure a huge section will be will be removed. Like the immersion, the overall concept of like immersion is gonna get killed because of this. To avoid the need to merge servers, there may be queues to get into high population servers, but the aim is to avoid excessively long queues. As someone who has played pretty much any non-mega server MMO in the last decade could attest, Populations drop in every title, weeks, months, or maybe even years if you're lucky after the release date. So what are nodes and how do they exponentially increase the issue? Margaret Crone, the community marketing lead, describes nodes as the heart of the world. They create the ebb and flow of life. At their core, nodes are preset points in the world, wrapped in a zone of influence and surrounded by geographic areas that change over time based upon player participation. The world map is divided into regions, with each region containing multiple nodes. As a node advances, it influences the type of content within itself and the surrounding area. Players do not create nodes, but if they are part of the government for a specific node, they have the ability to influence diplomacy and modify building types, construction, and services within the node. There will be 103 node locations at launch, each with its own impact on the narrative and development of the world. Now, if these nodes are truly what they say they will be, and every server truly ebbs and flows with its own unique story and character, all based on player choice, imagine spending hundreds of thousands of hours investing into your nodes, your server, carefully crafting a server narrative, and then facing the issue of a dwindling population and potential server merges that are less of an if they will happen and more of a when they will happen. All right. This is what I was talking about when I was talking about merging, right? Merging happens, and it doesn't seem like much, but it actually have a a physical effect, in a sense, a mental effect on the on the person who uh, who had to like lose part of their, uh, pretty much had to relocate. It's like moving around, right? Uh, you have a kid and. The kid doesn't have a house or home and they just move around pretty much. And to other people who doesn't who never experienced this, um like I haven't I haven't experienced it, but if you have a child that just moves around and doesn't like you know, settle down and stuff, it's it's actually detrimental to the child uh social skills and upbringing and stuff so imagine that happening but in a mmo in a mmo sense right and so merging is gonna like it's gonna make the player not feel connected to the the type of effort they are putting into the environment because they know that anytime anytime they could all of these resources would just be move to somewhere else and they'll just find themselves somewhere else doing the same old thing so their action is not connected to a single instance 
which means nothing matter, right? And that overall sense of like nothing matter in the end is pretty much like killing a bunch of mobs in BDO, like just just running through stuff and just and just swinging your sword and just killing it in an instant. That's how people are gonna feel. In Ashes, your player identity is not just locked to your character, but also the nodes on your server and how you have previously interacted with them. Players will find themselves either having to re-roll, transfer servers, or merge into a larger population server and having to accept their history and identity, which very well may not align with yours. This is a big problem and it needs to be addressed. Now I am not that, well, I'm not that smart personally. <laughs> I don't have a perfect solution to this. The only one I could really come up with was possible merging servers that have developed different nodes. So you could kind of, like a puzzle, piece them together and keep parts of each different server. But with 103 nodes at launch and an aim to have 10,000 concurrent players per server, I'm not sure how feasible that would be. So why am I making this video and not providing answers? Well, for the views, of course. Actually, in all seriousness, I do still believe that the MMO community is smart and through intelligent conversation and discussion can come up with solutions to these problems and- oh, Can I also say how terrible this camera is for, for an action or even a top target, targeting game? Can I explain like how terrible this is? For the views, of course. Like they, they Actually, so in all good. seriousness, I do still- like literally you can't even look at a uh, look at a creature properly still believe that the MMO community is smart and through intelligent conversation and discussion like look what is going on here like can't even see your character like you're literally looking at grass pretty much this is how the uh, action combat and, and tap targeting is gonna make the game look half assed pretty much like everything is going to be half and half you won't actually be able to enjoy the game but you'll be able to like see some random stuff like these like these grasses this is how you're going to experience the game can come up with solutions to these problems and whether i am just being naive or hopeful i think it's better that we tackle them now rather than waiting for the issues to arise later down the line so what do you think Am I completely off base in having these worries? Is the Ashes community kind enough to just not flame me in the comments? I'm not sure. I would love to hear a developer discuss how they- Alright guys, um, that's what I wanted to, to make for this video. Uh, so, again, Ashes of Creation is selling dreams and a lot of people are buying into it. And they are buying into it because they actually get to say something. They get to be part of uh, the uh, the next big thing community uh, voice, pretty much. And it, it is true that we do need new MMOs and stuff, but there are, there are games like a uh, new world out there that people gotta gotta be patient with. People gotta sit down and uh, and try to accept in a sense and new war is a great game and people are shitting on it uh, which is really unfortunate and this is because like people aren't satisfied people are very greedy they just go into one thing they ask they only want to export it and then once they're done exporting it they say that it, it isn't like what they want and stuff and so ashes of creation is selling uh these dreams and stuff and people are buying into it and i really can't wait to see the salt uh the salt sit in and how people are gonna be salty after they uh, realize they've been scammed uh so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later peace out